Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about the two types of lines that we have learned, parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Can you remember what these lines are? For perpendicular lines, what are they? They are lines that, could you remember? Lines that meet at, lines that meet at right angles. Okay, what is right angles? It's a 90 degrees. Okay, a right angle, when we look at a set square, would be the amount of turning from this side to the other side that is a right angle. So to draw perpendicular lines, the first thing is we need to draw one of the lines. Okay, if you have a line and you want to draw a perpendicular line to this, you just need to put your set square, okay, the corner that has a right angle, on the line okay and make sure it's exactly on the line if you cannot make sure it's on the line first you put the ruler there and then you put it on okay but if you can just see it with your eyes you can just put it straight on the line hold it down and make sure you hold the ruler down because you don't want the ruler to shift as you draw okay now these two lines meet at a point which is a right angle so these two lines are perpendicular. Now let me name the lines. If this line is AB and this line is XY, how do I write it out? I'm going to write AB. Okay, and look at the symbol for is perpendicular to. Okay, the symbol looks like this. Is perpendicular to XY. Okay, so here we have perpendicular lines. Lines that meet, these two lines, meet at this point, which is a right angle. Okay, so now let's move on to parallel lines. What are parallel lines? Okay, perpendicular lines meet at right angles, but parallel lines do not meet at all. Okay, they are lines that do not meet, and they should never, ever meet. They're kind of like enemies. Okay, so if you have a parallel line, let's say I have this line here and I want to find another a line that is parallel to this. Okay, let me name this PQ. Okay, here's what we do. We're going to take the set square. Now, on one side of the right angle, the right angle is here, and on one side, I'm going to put one of these sides on the line. Okay, I put it on the line. Next, I'm going to put the other ruler firmly on the other side of the right angle. Okay, these two sides create the right angle there, right? So I'm going to put the ruler on the other side. Okay, I'm going to hold this tightly. Okay, can you see? And then I should be able to slide and every line that I slide to would be parallel. Okay, if I want my parallel line to pass through this point, for example, can you see this point? Okay, then I'm going to slide all the way down such that it passes through that point okay so once i have it there i'm going to hold my set square down hold it down tight remove my slider and then draw the parallel line that passes through that point okay let me call it k j okay to indicate that it is parallel i'm going to put arrows in the same direction and how do I write it out? I'm going to write it out as PQ. Now, notice the symbol for is parallel to. It's two lines slanted and angle that do not meet. Parallel to KJ. Okay, it doesn't matter. I can call it KJ. I can call it JK. It's still the same line. Okay, so now I have this side by side. You can see the difference between a perpendicular line and a parallel line. Remember, perpendicular lines meet at right angles but parallel lines are lines that do not meet at all.